It's been a while. It's been a hot minute, you guys. Good morning. I just woke up. Oh my gosh. We have a nice little packed day today. It's literally 7.30 and all I did was take my contacts and put them in my eyes and brush my teeth. We're about to go get a workout in early this morning because I have a facial at 11. I think this is like my first facial. It might be my second facial ever and I'm excited for it. So the girly girly is in Houston and I want to get a workout out of the way because I don't think that you're supposed to like sweat and whatnot really after you actually get the facial. That's why I'm up early, loving this for me. I know she's gonna cleanse my skin. So I have my nighttime skincare on. I might just keep this on, go work out. And then when I get home to shower, I'll clean that off. Anyway, good morning. I love you. Welcome back, you guys. I know it's been a while since I've vlogged. I just wasn't, I didn't feel like I had anything to share. So it's really nice to be back. If you're new here, hi, my name is Libby. Love you so much. I'm filming my week of workouts right now, actually. So this video will overlap with that one. Also, this is from Fenty. Love her. It's the Fenty Cherry Tart. Cherry Treat. I also, I went and got my lips touched up and just don't like to vlog after that because I just look a little bit of a mess. Let's go upstairs and choose an outfit and then get in the car and do a whole quad in like that. I'm making my greens right now. I just made my bagel. And if you guys have watched me for over a year now, that bagel used to be like my pride and joy, what I would look forward to every single morning. And then I got the bagel ick. I don't know what happened, but yesterday was my first day making it again. And I was like, oh my gosh, I'm back. There's something about it. It's like Einstein Bros times 6,000. And I love it. I love it so much. So a little update. I am taking creatine again. I am, I am, I know. It's been like a year since I've taken creatine. No, it's been like six months, seven, eight months since I've taken creatine again. I missed it. I loved it so much when I was using it. I used it for over a year, I think like a year and a half. And then I was like, well, I have all these gains. Let me see what my body's like without creatine. Is this falling? I took a little break from it and now I've decided I wanna use it again. I don't know, I love having it in my routine. I think it's fantastic. So I just use the Alani new creatine and then the new peach iced tea greens. I'm gonna drink this and eat my breakfast and then we gotta head to the gym. If you guys haven't tried the peach iced tea greens, I would recommend 100%. I like the regular greens and I'll just drink those with water, but the peach iced tea is, it's really good. I just drink like glasses of it for fun throughout the day. These are my go-to lately. They're the Alani little energy sticks and i love having them in my car because my poor pre-workout gets crushed often because it falls under our seat i like to have these in the car and i also would like to have coffee at home why is this moving you guys my camera is having a moment It's moving again. What is my luck with tripods? I don't understand. I straightened my hair because I got the Color Wow humidity like spray because I wanted to try it out. You guys, Houston is like the most humid place ever and my hair is fine. Like she's doing okay. Might wear a headband. I don't know. Maybe I won't. Usually there's like 100% humidity in the air at all times it feels like. Usually my hair would be a puff ball, but I just haven't even touched it since I straightened it, which was like two days ago. All right, I'm showered clean. My hair is done. Oh, so I just did a little pass on my my roots. But you guys, my hair has gotten so long. I only straighten my hair when I'm like incredibly bored. Definitely needs a trim. The only thing I put on my face was literally just SPF because I know she's going to take that off. I didn't want to just like cake my face with skincare and everything. Let's go. I think that this puts a filter on my skin, but if I get close enough, it kind of like takes it off. So you guys know my one issue is hyperpigmentation. I chose Esthetician's Choice today so she can just kind of do whatever she wants with my skin because I am so on top of my skincare and I'm very proud of that, but I want to see what she can do for me. You know what I mean? I think this is like an 85 minute appointment. I just want to be relaxed and soothed. This is my skin before. She's doing well, but yeah, I'll let you guys know how it goes. Took out my earrings. Now I'm going to take off my neck. My robe. Is this my robe? It is slick. I don't 
don't know how I didn't fall asleep. It was so nice. First of all, I'm so glossy and glowy. She put SPF on me because it's literally what I went in with. Oh my God, Miss Kristen in here. She is that girl. Also, she's a black woman and she specializes in women of color skin. What we did was basically whatever she wanted to, but I know that she said we did like an oxygenation thing, enzyme thing on me. Um, she did extractions, which I really don't usually have that many. She did maybe like three or four around my entire face and then more so like congestion on my forehead I would say but wow I feel born again she put some lip treatment on me too you guys know I'm all about my lip treatments and I'm feeling amazing that was like the most serene experience ever I loved it next up like I am in my self-care treating myself phase if that makes sense i want to go to like milk and honey and get a really good massage like that could be amazing but i literally went in she's like do you have any concerns that you like came in today with that you want to fix i'm like no not really i just want you to like do your thing on me girl such a fan such a fan i'm trying to find my aura ring because i noticed while i was asleep that it wasn't on my finger so there i wish i was wearing it so it could have told me like yeah girl you hit rim sleep or something like that because i was in a trance it was fantastic all right, you guys, good morning, good morning. I am about to head out of the house. I wanna give you a skin update, what I'm looking like. I'm glowy and shiny because I just finished my own skincare, but after that facial yesterday, I feel amazing. I'm gonna go get some brunch with the Jazzy at Flower Child in Houston. And then when I get home, JJ and I are gonna go to the gym, but this is the fit, the sweat seamless of her. Love the sweat seamless Oswego's, which we love. I already had coffee this morning and I had like my little eggs and whatnot. I'm really excited because I've never been to Flower Child before. Oh my gosh, I am really pumped because Gymshark just launched a bunch of new goodies. Unfortunately, my package doesn't come until tomorrow, I believe, but I'm gonna include a try on haul in this video for you guys. And then I also booked JJ and I a couple's massage tomorrow night at like eight o'clock. So that'll be super nice. And then I also wanna go see Oppenheimer this weekend. I'm gonna head out of the house now. <laughs> so cute. Hey, Karen. Let me see. I see what you mean. I ate my food. Sorry I didn't show you. It's salty. I wasn't prepared. What is that? A soy, yeah. I might drink it. Look at Cam, he's so good at this. Some little outtakes. Forehead. Guys, it is so effing hot. It's 97 degrees out. As of right now, I just hopped in my car. Just had some brunch with Ajazi and Cam, and now I'm gonna head back home so JJ and I can go to the gym. It's my last day of the week of working out, so I'm ready to get back and hit back. It's called Flower Child. It's over in Uptown, and it's literally so cute. So definitely try it out. I know no time has passed for you, but for me, it's been probably like almost a week since I've picked up my vlog camera. And listen, I'm going to run you through the reason why. I'm about to try on all my new Gymshark because we do have some new boxes. All the things that I'm showing you are already live on the site, which is fantastic. They're available to shop. You can use code Libby if you want to support your girl. Let me tell you what happened though and the tragedy that struck when I got my packages. You know me, I'm big chilling. I'm like, oh my gosh, I'm so excited for all of these new pieces. My fleck is going to come in that bright cobalt blue that's stunning everybody loves so excited my order came in two different shipments so my first box came only had tops in it so i'm like okay i'll just wait until my second package arrives i'm like finally all of my stuff is gonna be here i'm so excited yay i got all my bottoms and everything else that i was missing is gonna be here <gasps> you guys i start to open up my package oh no i see a cvs bottle of lotion i don't shop at cvs i'm confused i don't know how this Brand new full bottle of CVS lotion for dry, sensitive skin is inside. How did it get in there? After I take all of my stuff out, there's like 10 pieces missing. And I'm like, ugh, just my luck. Most heartbroken about the fact that I'm missing all of the everyday seamless bottoms that I ordered because I was really excited to get those and try them on. I'm gonna get them all back. Just like won't have them right now because of this. But it's totally okay. Just wanna let you know. Everybody was like, girl, where's the try on haul? It's right here. But I also missed you and I wanted to talk your ear off. So nicely folded back there that I'm gonna grab. I am actually wearing a piece right now and I'm gonna keep this cool and casual. I am in my cozies today because I'm actually menstruating as of this morning. So I decided to take a rest day from the gym. I'm wearing my little collegiate joggers because you guys know I love my collegiate joggers. This is the new halter neck bra. 
absolutely love it and it fits so well and so snug but I don't feel like I'm being like pinched or shoved in here I just feel very held in and lifted which is amazing the great thing about this baby is that it is reversible so this is what the halter looks like if you want to compliment my back I mean I'll let you like I don't mind that I actually really appreciate it such a comfy cozy band right here I feel like my chest looks good and I don't feel like it's tugging on my neck I'm wearing this in a size small everything I'm wearing in a size small that I'll show you today it also comes in like this neon green color I didn't get that one. I did get the one that is white as well, but she is reversible So if you want to flip it same with this band this little printed one on the other side This is what the band looks like Gymshark has never come out with a halter like this So I feel like this is a really exciting time for me because I mean for the longest time I've asked Gymshark to please come out with long lengths and different lengths And I'm so sorry to my shorty gals with tinier legs because I know you guys want things that are like cropped But I have to celebrate this win for me and my tall girls. Okay, not even tall girls, but like long-legged gals this is our time to shine we now have crossover flared leggings yoga pants because it is disrespectful to call these flared leggings but that's what they are on the side okay look at how long these are i am so excited i'm so happy these babies are coming in darkest teal deep olive and black i believe this one here is the black and then there is a matching little top here to go with that i would say this fabric is more brushed if you're looking at any of the key fits thing it's gonna be like a sporty spandex type of fabric but it's gonna have a slight brushed feeling to it which i really like i don't like the super slick straight spandex vibe if that makes sense i am somebody who has a boxier frame i don't have the crazy like non-existent waist my ribs and hips are very aligned basically there's not much room between them boom there's no scrunch in the back here i love that these are high there is a slight seam at the top but it's not one that'll like cut into you and hurt you but there is a seam here we have no front seam like Thank goodness, a little crossover moment going on. So this is a small tall. Look at how they just hit the floor. I feel like a disco queen and they just hug your booty and your legs so well. This is like a Libby fit. I'm gonna try on this crop top so you guys can see. Yeah, it's not too tight either. You know what I mean? I'm 5'8", so I'm like, okay, slay. And you can see here at the back, there's this little like pedal crossover which matches the waist. And I love a little capped sleeve type of moment. I don't know, I just really, really love this. Okay, next set. This is actually so cute. I usually don't like things to be so dang high waisted on me just because I typically fold over my waistbands of all of my bottoms. But this one, it's like kind of difficult to do that. So I kind of got to just suck it up. You know what I mean? These are the crossover shorts. And I'm also wearing the same crossover top. This color is washed mauve. I feel like it's kind of showing up properly on camera. It's a little darker, I think in person, but it's this really pretty like ashy purple. I think that this set is so cute. There's also no front seam, which we really, really love. This is what it looks like. These are pulled down quite a bit. I typically would wear my shorts a little higher and then I would tuck them in. Ideal for me, but I actually really, really like these and I'm usually so against like high, high waistbands. I actually got these in a size extra small, which I'm happy I did. I feel like they do just hug me a little bit better. You guys, I'm gonna have to keep reiterating that it's just the way that my body's built. These are the pocket shorts, which I don't mind pockets in pants if they're they're very very sleek which these are but just take a gander at how high this waistband is i feel like steve urkel it's fine the only thing is like i don't want to have to roll these down i could like it looks fine if i roll them down the only thing is like it's just bulkier but these are cute i feel like they would look really great on somebody with a long torso i just don't think it was meant for me these are the pocket shorts they're actually super comfy pretty much the same material i would say very similar to the crossover all right next up we got this cutie little number which you have seen before because yes this is the winning crop top Gymshark said it's so cute we're gonna remake it Mesh crop tank I think and I actually got a size extra small on this so freaking cute I love this I feel like this is a perfect everyday top little Gymshark logo in the front this comes in black darkest teal bold magenta and navy okay, speaking of more tank tops let's talk about it I don't have any of the everyday seamless bottoms like I said to show you guys you guys liked the original apex collection which like ancient I know it's been changed so many times and now apex is basically limitless if you remember the og apex collection this is the same
same material. 100% it was one of the softest, most stretchy materials ever. All four of these babies. Purple fog, black of course, and then there's cargo teal right here, and navy. I love that these have this little plunge in the front here. It doesn't have any padding in here or liner or anything like that. Under boob contour outline there. This comes with a crop top, shorts, and then leggings and the little tank top as well. Battle seamless, here she is. She's beautiful. I don't wear leggings. Idol is doing something for me. Libby has to hit it with the uh, nice little roll. The colorways are coming in deep teal, black, penny brown, which we've seen penny brown before, light sage, and then bright fuchsia. The leggings are coming in just the deep teal and the bright fuchsia. The sports bras are coming in all four colors. Crop tops are coming in the deep teal and sage green. So I feel like the sage green is really, really hard to see. So I'm just gonna try it on. It does look really gray when you don't have it in person because it's such a pale color. Can you see a contrast? Hopefully you can, but I know it's really difficult to. But I love Battle Seamless Crop Top. This outfit is actually so freaking cute. And as somebody that doesn't wear leggings, like I'm kind of living. We also have the Bright Fuchsia, which launched in the UK a while ago and then the US, I don't think got it. And they had that really pretty green, like emerald green that launched. I know that we've had pinks before with Vital, but I do think that this is a bit different. Gymshark has now dropped new silhouettes for Vital. So there's new t-shirts, I believe. And then also there's now a zip up and it is a complete like unzip crop top, basically exactly like this, but just imagine a zipper. I wore it a few days ago and I think that's why I can't find it is because it's in the laundry. Amazing. <laughs> You guys know how I feel about neutrals, browns, chocolates. It's a brand new color, this chocolate, beautiful color. Oh my God. So the training bandeau is coming in the new cobalt blue, which will match the flat. And then also this, I believe is what they're calling shadow brown. I might be crazy. Stunning, beautiful, iconic. Couple new Roosh training bras. I'm not somebody that orders the minimal training bras because they don't fit my yiddies. Like, it's just very unfortunate for me. We have the sage green in the Roosh training bra and then also the bold magenta. Gorgeous colors. I feel like this will pair really nicely with the new Vital color. This is like giving Kentucky, like UK. This is not the bottoms I would wear with this at all, but this is the new Adapt Fleck cobalt blue oh my gosh little cropped cap sleeve moment absolutely stunning i feel like a princess like i literally feel like this is some cinderella sleeves but i'm not wearing a bra with this and i feel like the band here really just holds me in i probably wouldn't wear a bra on it just because i feel like that's a lot going on but the little square neckline is so cute let me show you the halter though i'm not well love this like i said these shorts maybe not the move okay that's all right but this top first of all it has adjustable straps in the back second of all i feel like a princess like the way it does my shoulders is insane i had a lot of people asking if it digs in on my traps i don't find that it does unless i were to like tighten this super super tight it's just beautiful the color the cut like it's different what an interesting halter neck as you guys know i love my rest day collection brand new chocolate i have the jogger the hoodie and then the zip up as well absolutely obsessed i'm not gonna try it on because i live in texas and it is so hot out here beautiful this will be my next travel outfit i promise you that the rest day monogrammed woven jogger this new little gymshark monogrammed cami tank top there's no built-in bra but there is like a second layer i suppose just to cover the breasticles and whatnot on the inside it just has gymshark 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 everywhere super cute there's not adjustable straps so i decided to size down to an extra small in this and i have yet to try it on, so I'll show you that. Of this, it's basically like Gymshark's little take on a Skims top, I feel like, because it's just bodycon, which I love. Super, super soft and comfy, like a very, very comfortable cotton. The only logo and branding is right there on the very back. First impressions, I feel like I'm gonna be in step up. Like, they're kind of giving Princess Jasmine but also they're still pretty cute. Like the jogger pant leg moment. There's zippers on the side. Here you can see this is what the inside of the pants feel like. They have like the mesh on the inside. Glad I sized down to an extra small on this little top. I think a small would have been too big on me and also probably wouldn't give me any type of support. Not that this is, cause it's really like a cami bralette. I like this, it's like a sleek little moment. You guys, while I wish I had everything that I could try on and show you, I had to pick and choose obviously, but I wanted just to give you a little look at everything so you can see colors and how things fit on me i hope that you guys liked it thanks for just sticking around i feel like i say this every video but it's just nice to see that you guys like to come back because i've had so many of you guys ask like where's your next youtube video at and i have a week of workouts that is coming i have some more vlogs coming up and i'm obviously going to be vlogging the entire lift la event which will be so so fun i'm pumped for that if you guys haven't got tickets go grab them it's going to be august 12th and 13th santa monica and i would love to see you guys there anything that you guys like or see you guys can use my code 
be on the Gymshark website. That directly supports me and that also lets Gymshark know that I sent you to them. But yeah, if you guys enjoyed this video, please make sure to give it a thumbs up so you know that you did. Also, be sure to subscribe so you guys don't miss a video with me. You guys can keep up with me every single day on TikTok and Instagram at Libby Christensen. And I will talk to you guys later. Thank you.